I'm Ian Anderson, editor at Wine Films. Today we're here at one of the most remarkable wine of origins in South Africa, the Cedarburg Wine of Origin. It's a wilderness area in a remote little valley. And today we're going to meet David Nievenhout, whose family have been farming here for five generations. But it's really been his passion for winemaking that's unlocked the potential of this gem of a valley. We're picking some Shiraz Tenewig this morning, where we find this unbelievable red, red slates. Um, it actually contains quite a high percentage of clay. So these vines is under enormous amount of stress at this stage. We pick it this morning. Um, so very concentrated fruit, small berries, very low production. We pick here at about four tons per hectare, which is not much. So there will be fantastic concentration on this. And just this little area got such a specific microclimate. Um, that farm in the corner, they receive roughly about 1,200 millimeters of rain. We're about seven k's from there, not even 650, and 10 kilometers from here, in the middle of a succulent karoo. So it's just this little tucked away area with an unbelievable microclimate. We're now at an altitude of 1,100 meters above sea level. It's obvious there must be certain advantages with altitude as well. Number one, up here, this area is completely disease free. We don't even spray for downy mildew or millibuck, the two biggest wine diseases in the industry, just because of really isolated vineyards and then extreme winter temperatures. It can go down to about minus 10 here in winter. But you get unbelievable minerality from these soils, which is fantastic. What do you say, little Beatrice? <laughs> 